I'm Ferre. I live in Brussels and I studied graphic design at the Kask in Ghent with the other guys that now perform a daily drama. Why did you choose the Toverberg as an inspiration? Uh, the, the first time only because we found the very nice words. Magic Mountain, it's like uh, beautiful words. And then we decided to read the book and we thought that we would hate the book. It was so beautiful that we had to do something. We read it in an interview and some other journalists um, yeah, said something about Magic Mountain. Uh, what was your favorite part? There are a lot. Thomas Mann talks, uh, talks a lot about time in his book. We have like three uh, thick uh, passages that that is philosophy. Yeah, he talks about time. I think maybe I like them the most. Do you think the Toberberg, so the book, is still relevant now? Yes. <laughs> I think it's hundred years ago. I think it was written, and like I said, we thought that it would be outdated, that it would be very old. But when I read it, I was like, uh, yeah, pretty touched by by many sentences, and it's also. The manner how he writes, with his long sentences, with a lot of commas and long, long sentences, that's a bit weird to read because we don't know that anymore. Do you have to know the story to understand this play? Some people in the audience yeah, said maybe they, they missed a, a bit of parts. You need a bit more imagination when you didn't read the book, but I hope it's clear and nice for everyone. Were there other things you got from your aspiration? Extra. Yes. There was one uh, artist. He's called Carlos Bunga. I think he's a Brazilian, a Brazilian sculptor, and he works a lot with the uh, cardboard stuff and a pretty old material. And we like him a lot. So the opening of the, Olymp the of the Olympic Games. I don't know in which year, 1991 or something. And they do like a dance on ice with all of them have like suits of stars. Is there a message that you want to share to the audience with this performance? We need solidarity. And I think we also need in a way that we have to see what I said, what the old guys have did and not just break with it, but learn from them and see maybe where did it go wrong and where can we begin to make this life great again. We know that this um, this performance is translated in mm -hmm. Dutch and French, mm -hmm. but I'm Italian, so I will not oh, understand okay. a single word. <laughs> and, right. uh, do you think nice. that I can be able to understand the message even without understanding a word? I'm curious, I hope so. I will speak you after. Ooh, it's gonna be hard because it's a lot of words, but I think you're gonna you're gonna feel, I hope. Why don't you work with a director who is not on the stage? Louis and I just always work together. And we know each other so well that I, I think we don't need one. But now with the two extra actors, it was hard because we have so lot of mean, you have a lot of meanings and no one stood above each other. So it was, this time it was hard to have no directors. The first time maybe I wanted sometimes someone who shouted at us and say no. It's just this way or that way. I like working in group, but yeah. So at the end you have maybe, you need one voice a bit louder than the other voices. Did you guys all make this script together? We and I started with the idea of the book and then we, uh, yeah, like very soon just came together both with the technician and the dramaturg. All we have to have the same voice. So it was pretty horizontal. Everyone had the same influence. It was hard, yeah. But it's nice. It's nice. And what's the part you like the most about the making of the of this play? I like the, the mid... I always like the mid parts. So you have the startup part, it's a lot of talking. And then we have the mid part, it's like doing crazy stuff and just go beyond star... Like everybody, everything is possible. No, I think the mid part is yeah, the nicest part. What does the future bring for the Desno? We are now talking with a lot of people to play to make new pieces, but it's hard because culture <laughs> isn't uh, the most favorite part of our um, yeah of our government anymore. So we're just now talking with everybody. It's like so yeah, it's cool because everybody's now a huge community, and we are all searching for new ways to 
create stuff because the, the way we now work isn't possible anymore. We're gonna do a lot of stuff, there are a lot of plans, but we should, we should first see if it's, um, yeah, if it's gonna work. Uh, we heard that you studied graphic design before, so why did you decide to pursue a career in acting? I was, I was very young when I uh, said I was going to do graphic design because I didn't know better, but my main interest still was then also theater. I went to theater every week and afterwards I was still very involved with all people in theater. It was like normal for me to, 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 to go with, with Louis, go further with the snot and a lot of people asked me if I could join them for playing or for whatever and I liked it so I said yes every time. So thank you and good luck for, for the show. Thank you.